Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Piper introduces new M-Class airplanes. We'll see Sandia's ADSB solution for general aviation, and Trig introduces their new avionic stack products. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. Piper Aircraft launched their new M600 and M350 members of its M-Class family of aircraft during an event yesterday at its Vero Beach, Florida headquarters. They also reported on upgrades to their existing M500 model. Piper's president and CEO, Simon Caldicott, said that the three airplanes are representative of the company's direction for the future. The M350, M500, M600. This is the power of three. This is the next generation Powered by a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6A 42A turboprop, flat rated to 600 shaft horsepower, the M600 offers a maximum cruise speed of 260 knots and a full payload range of 1300 nautical miles. Piper expects to complete certification in this year's fourth quarter. The standard equipped price for the M600 is $2.825 million. It will feature a Garmin G3000 avionics suite with two 12-inch primary flight displays and a multifunction display, plus dual digital touchscreen GTC 570 controls and an Aspen EFD-1000 standby display. The new M350 is powered by a 350 horsepower Lycoming TIO 540 AE-2A engine. It features the Garmin G1000 cockpit, but with numerous safety enhancements in the cabin pressurization and climate control systems, and an enhanced cockpit lighting system. The standard price is to be $1.155 million. The new special edition version of the M500 offers options for upgraded cabin and cockpit interiors. Cyndia Aerospace introduces the STX360 Sentinel at the Aircraft Electronics Association Convention in Dallas, Texas. Their ADSB solution for general aviation aircraft is a panel-mounted universal access transceiver, also referred to as UAT ADSB, with a built-in Mode C transponder. Cyndia designed it to be easily installed in the same space as an existing transponder. It only requires a single antenna, which further reduces installation cost and complexity. The STX360 Sentinel provides a display of traffic and METARs on its sunlight-readable OLED display. With its wireless output capability, the STX360 can also display weather and traffic on portable devices such as iPads. The STX360 Sentinel will be available in 2016 at a price expected to be below $3,500. After the break, Trig Avionics shows its new stack products at AEA. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to bendixking.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Trig Avionics also announced at the AEA convention their new avionics stack products. Trig's TY-96 and TY-97 aviation radios are engineered into a slimline case that's only 1.3 inches high. Despite the slimline size of both radio models, the 10-watt TY-96 
and 16 watt TY97 features include push step providing faster tuning and say again, which allows instant playback of the last received transmission. Their new TMA44 and TMA45 audio panels are dual comm, dual nav, and each audio panel has a built-in intercom and marker beacon receiver. The TMA45 has additional entertainment features and Bluetooth wireless support for music and mobile devices. The TMA45 audio panel hosts up to six seats and has Trig digital noise reduction to automatically select the optimum level of intercom squelch and mic threshold. Trig Active Mute further reduces unwanted background noise from radio static. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the most interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. There's so much to do and so little time to talk about it. Just one of the many air events being held on the weekend of April 18th is the new Smyrna Beach Balloon and Sky Fest, running for three days. It's a full-fledged air show with some of the best from ICAS. It all takes place at the new Smyrna Beach Airport. Moving to the West Coast, we find the Mojave Experimental Fly-In, taking place at Mojave Airport in California on April 18th and 19th. It's a gathering of the leading experimenters currently involved in general aviation. Mojave is the birthplace of some amazing aircraft. April 21st through the 23rd marks Watts 2015, the World Aviation Training Conference and trade show in Orlando, Florida. This year's theme is targeted training interventions and aviation safety. This marks 18th Watts Conference. And last but certainly not least, the Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo runs from April the 21st through the 26th. There's something for everyone at Sun and Fun. After these messages, the Next Gen Fund expands. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100, and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we've summarized some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Next Gen GA Fund, along with partner Madison Capital, announced an expansion to its current funding capabilities. The GA Fund is expanding its available capital base to over $500 million, pending FAA approval. The FAA has approved 30 more commercial unmanned aircraft systems exemptions, bringing the total number of approved operations to 99. The FAA has picked up the pace of commercial exemptions but still has a backlog of several hundred applications. The Avidon Corporation has expanded their ADS-B 978 series ADS-B solutions to include the MLX-200 and MLX-210 transceivers. They both provide ADS-B in and out displayed on Avidon's IFD-540 and IFD-440 units, and also on Avidon's MFDs. ICG is working with Iridium Communications to provide worldwide broadband coverage for corporate and airline aircraft. New STCs have been approved for the Challenger 601 aircraft, several Dassault models, 
Gulfstream models, and Boeing and Airbus airliners. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. A lightweight airplane needs an efficient, lightweight prop. Now Hartzell Propeller has stepped up to the plate by announcing it has received a type certificate for their new two-blade, extremely lightweight Bantam Propeller for use with the Rotax 912 and 914 four-stroke engine series used mostly for light sport and ultralight aircraft. The Hartzell Bantam Propeller Series consists of small lightweight two and three blade propellers with a thin wide cord and swept high performance airfoils. The recent approval covers installation of Hartzell's two blade Bantam propellers featuring carbon fiber structural composite blades, hard nickel leading edges, and composite spinners. The two blade props weigh 25 pounds, including the spinner. Well, that's our program for Tuesday, April 14th. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember, Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday. Join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.